Hey, everybody, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. <laughs> We're happy our treasures. Oh, you guys, sometimes does your husband drive you crazy? <laughs> That's the point, isn't it? He drives me crazy isn't sometimes. Isn't that the point? You drive me crazy. I think it's a song, like Britney Spears, maybe? Uh, <laughs> hey, everybody, we have a lot of stuff to go out today. We had a great weekend of sales. We yes. have 25 things to ship out. We're going to show you. Seven of them were mine. They're all yours. Good gracious. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it's a competition. Great. No, it's not. He's doing great with the books that we got. The books and DVDs mm -hmm. are doing amazing. But I remember like a year ago, Donna got a whole bunch of like sewing stuff. Uh, quilting. Quilting stuff, fabric and stuff. And she did amazing with that. It comes and it goes. And yeah, it's not a competition. We are a team. And sometimes I have to remind her of that. So... It's Monday. I got the Monday blues for some reason. Why? How could you have the know. blues when you have me? I don't know. <laughs> hey, everybody. And we are also going to talk about, as we do this, we're going to talk it's about... It's snowing. That's why. It's not snowing, is it? In this whole state. The whole state is shut down because of snow. Not in Lincoln, but like everywhere else. The interstate's closed. But it's not snowing right here in our house. No, it's so not. So that's good. That's good. Hey, we have some great sales to show you, and we're going to talk to you about sell-through rate. We've had a couple of people ask us about sell-through rate. How do you know the sell-through rate? How do you decide what to list on eBay? And we're going to talk about it. We're going to you show... You just feel it. You, yeah, you just feel it. If I like it, it'll <laughs> sell well, right? Um, we're going to show use some of the items that we sold for examples, and we're going to use some other things for examples and just kind of show you how we look at things and how we decide what to list and what to not list. Yeah. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull a few things that sold that are down here. And so let's get into that. Okay. First up, because it's already pulled right here, Donna, the shirts that we talked about. I just listed last night before at like midnight. I thought, man, I got to get some shirts on. So I grabbed six items and I listed them. Now we paid $45 for that whole box. This one shirt, vintage shirt, sold for $44.99. Woohoo! So the you rest... guys, we did, we got a green shirt kind of like this, like a year and a half ago. And a couple weeks later, we found another one just like it and haven't found any since. So this was an amazing find. Yes. Yeah. That whole box is going to do very, very well for us. I think we're going to end up listing them all for like 30 to $50. So, all right. Box 15, Donna. 15. I can't Let's reach see if, that. Can you, can you reach it? <laughs> if you can't reach it, I'll get it. Do you want a step stool? No. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. All right. In there, you will find some cat's meow. Ta-da. There's four pieces in there of cat's meow. Yep. And those sold for $12.59. Those have been on for a long time. Yes, but they sold. Yes, they did. Next up is in box 75. All right, this came from a buyout that we did, and it should be a brass compass in there. Aha! There it is. I don't know how it works. Yeah. It's super secret. All right, here you go. All right. Not too close. Mm -mm. There is, and this spins up or something. I don't know. Don't break it. I don't want to break it. Uh, yeah, that definitely spins out, comes out. It's a hinge. And that goes like that. Something like that. That sold for $27.59. That's cool. Pretty cool piece, yeah. Where did it come from? Tis cool. It came from Buyout. Uh, next up is down the bottom shelf right down there. This? Yes. Oh. This we got just a few weeks ago at a state sale. We then ended up cleaning out the estate sale, but we, we bought paid. this from the estate sale for $30. It's brand new, still has like the tape on it and stuff, a Sony uh, radio with a cassette player. And that sold for $80 plus shipping. Nice. Did they ask you to put it in another box? Yeah, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna double box it. So they must wanna like, it must be like a collector type person maybe. So they Just wanna keep the box, the box in good shape. Gotcha. Uh, next up, here you go, Donna. It's on the shelf, and it's Tupperware. Here we go. Tupperware. Man, that's big. It's a cupcake taker. Yeah, it is. 
And that baby right there sold for, you got it at a garage sale for $2 and it sold for $17 plus shipping. Yay. All right, let's go get a pair of shoes. This is a pair of shoes that I got from a garage sale to give to Donna. Thought she might like them. Paid, I don't know, three or five bucks for them. She didn't really care for them. They're soccer shoes actually. So the bottom has like soccer shoe stuff. So she decided she I does... like them, but they have these on and I didn't quite like those. Okay, so they sold, we put them on, they sold for $20. And that's honestly a good place to start for sell-through rate. Let's talk about sell-through rate. All right, sell-through rate. What is sell-through rate? Most people that watch this video already know, but we have had this question a couple times, so uh, I'm gonna explain it. Sell-through rate is when you look at an item and you look it up on the eBay and you see how many are listed versus how many are sold. So for example, if you look up something and it has 100 items listed, there's 100 of that item, okay? Let's just grab, something for example here's a dvd box okay this is dvd box if you look up this dvd box and there's a hundred of these listed and the sell through and then you look at solds then you can see there's 50 of them that sold your sell through rate would be 50 percent okay question tell people how to get to the solds yes i will do all that so this is that's what sell through rate is is it's the comparing how many are listed to how many are sold. Now, how many are listed, they could have been listed for a long time. The solds are in the last 90 days. So that's saying right now, if you look at it, there's 100 items on there. Now your 50 sold is just in the last 90 days. So that means one sells about every other day is the average there. So how do you find these information? There's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, if it has a barcode, if it's an item with a barcode, which of course this one doesn't. No, there's one on the bottom. If it's an item with a barcode, it's really easy in the app. And I'm going to like record the screen. I'm gonna to try to record the screen and put it up as I'm talking and we'll see if this actually works for me. Okay, so looking on my phone, here is the eBay app. So on the top where it says search on eBay, you can see a microphone so you can like talk text into it or there's a camera. Now, if you hit the camera, then it goes to this camera and then on the bottom, you see image or barcode. If you hit barcode, the camera gets smaller. And then you take your camera, put it on this barcode, and then it comes up with listings. So now, as you can see, this one has 16 listings, right? So then first thing I do, this one is used. So I go up here to filter and I go switch my condition to use. So used, it says nine. And so I'll show the nine listings. So there's nine. And then I go, you hit the, you hit the little menu thing by filter and you hit see more and then you scroll down and there's one of these that says sold items. If you turn on sold items, you'll see there was nine and there's two search results sold. One sold for $11.99, one sold for $12.95. So this sell through rate is only about 15 to 20%. So why did I list it? Because what I want to sell on eBay, I want to sell like $10 and up. DVDs are super easy to list, super easy to ship. And so, store. And store, yes. And so, because they sold for $12 and $13, I don't care. I'm going to go back to the listed ones. So there's nine listed. I don't care. Look at there's $17, 15 20 19 19 18 01 So when I listed it, I'm going to list like underneath those. You know what I'm saying? So... I, if I can still get $12, $14 out of this and be one of the next ones that sells, I'm going to do that, right? So that's why I listed this, and that's with the sell-through rate. Now, that's not a very good sell-through rate, so let's show you something that has a much better sell-through rate. All right, now we're going to do something that has a really good sell-through rate, and we're going to show you how that works. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's trying to get the light behind my head. but. <laughs> All right, this is a 1999 Lego system uh, Star Wars Legos. Just a little one that was $7.99 at Kohl's. Probably got this for Christmas. This was our kids. He's never opened it. And it's got a barcode. And that's what it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in here to our home screen again. We are going to hit that camera again up in the corner. And then we're going to hit barcode again. And we're going to scan this. And now you can see 
there's 40 results. So those 40 results, now we're going to switch it to new because it is new. It's the box is a little beat up. We're going to go condition. We're going to go to new and it shows there's 20 results. So we're going to pull up those 20 and you see they're listed for 100 to $150. There's a 215, 130, 80, whatever. So now we're going to look at sold. So there's 20 new ones listed. We're going to go to the menu, show more. We're going to go to the sold items and it's going to say 26. So that means this one has over 100% sell through rate. So there's 20 listed, there's 26 that sold in the last 90 days. So that is a very good sell through rate. Anytime you can get something with over 100%, that's awesome. So if you look at the 26 sold, now we show 115, 110 best offer. There's a $40, 120, 100, 75. So it varies from, I don't know, I would say 100 to 150, a lot of it, 96, 65. So what we did, we listed this one. I think we listed for like 119, something like that. The box is a little beat up. It's got a crease right here. And it's just a little beat up from storage and it's got the sticker on it, but it is sealed. So listed for $119, turned on offers and we'll see what happens, but this should sell. Um, you know, it's not, it's not like, it's not like there's 400 of them sold, but they sell really well. So that's something they obviously want to list. That's, that's when you know, it's a good sell through rate. Something to look at when you're looking at sell through rate is a lot of people, like I do DVDs. I enjoy doing DVDs, but if you have a popular DVD, let me show you that really quick. And then we'll jump into some other results. Okay. I have two more examples really quick. I'm going to show you. One of a really, really, really bad sell-through rate, and one of a good sell-through rate, but why I wouldn't list it. Ooh. First, we have a cha-ching. <laughs> what is it? Be something good. Sold a pair of uh, Eastland shoes for $11.25. So we'll show those here in just a little bit. Okay, first, what I'm going to show you is a Pocahontas VHS tape. Uh, here you go. This is my prime example of a bad sell-through rate. We're going to go into the camera. We're going to hit the barcode. We're going to scan it and it's going to show 2,200 plus results. Now it shows these really high expensive ones up here, right? Well, they're listed for that much. They're not selling for that much. And then you go down and you see all these really cheap ones. So we're going to go to show more. We're going to go down to sold. So there's 2,200 and we're going to see 57 sold. And if you look, brand new, brand new, brand new. Pre-owned, pre-owned, 250 free shipping, 494 free shipping, best offer 590 uh, plus shipping, 399. So yeah, see, obviously, if you listed this, it's a waste of your time. It's going to sit and never sell, and if it does, you're going to sell it for really, really cheap with free shipping. So do not list this on eBay. <laughs> if it was brand new, you could look into it, but I still, I'll bet you anything, it wouldn't be worth it. I mean, some of those are brand new. All right, my last example I'm going to show you for barcodes is another DVD. They're just so easy to do. That's why we're doing this. This is Las Vegas, the TV show, which I absolutely love. This is season one. And so this is going to be a great sell-through rate. But why would I not list this on eBay? Let me show you. We'll go in here. We're going to go back up to our camera. We're going to hit barcode. We're going to scan it. And you're going to see there's 61 listed. And I'm not even going to sort new or pre-owned. It's just there's 61 listed. And then you pull it up and so sold show more sold 67 it's like a hundred percent sell through rate right so why wouldn't i list this because look that first one is brand new unopened 679 free shipping 399 free sh or plus shipping 637 free shipping five dollars and thirty cents free shipping it's not worth it it's not worth it to me i'm not going to list something and sell it for six dollars free shipping so this will not list if i happen to have the rest of them and have the entire season then I could probably sell it for like 20 to 30 bucks and I would do that. But otherwise, uh, this will go on the dollar auction. Let's pull some more. Orders. All right, these are the ones that just sold. They're Eastland uh, clog shoes. They sold for 11.25, and these have been in here about as long as we've been listening on eBay. They've been here a long time. So I'm happy to take 11.25 so we can get them out. I'm gonna show them how to check the... Oh, check them for dry rot too. Yeah, old shoes, do the bend test, and if they're dry rotted, they'll crack. They'll split across. And they'll split. So check them for dry rot. They've been in here long enough that, yeah, checking them is a good idea. 
And if they did crack, we'd, you know, not ship them out and tell them, sorry, but they're damaged. Box LJ Donna is getting. All right, these are, we've, we've shown these before. We have all of these old racers. And somebody messaged and they wanted them and they wanted them cheap. And I don't care because there's so many. So they paid $4 and we're actually sending them two sets. But they're old from the 70s. Fantastic uh, erasers. They're not scented or anything. They're just cool colors. And we got a whole bag full. They smell good. Yeah, they smell good, but I don't know if that'll focus on that. And you can like see the writing on it or not. It does on the green one. But yeah, those set of erasers, they're shipping. I'll make a little bit on shipping because they're so light. So they, they bought them for $4 for a set. I'm sending a second set out because why not? Um, it doesn't cost me anything and I have so many. So those are going to Hawaii. Next up box, 21, Donna. Oh. And we've just shown this on film probably a month ago. And we had one more set of these. And they're going, and this will be the last set we have. They are numbered 231. Right there, we'll get those out of the bag here. Those are Cape Cod. Ruby what, what Red. Calls? Ruby Red, Cape Cod, Votives, or Brandy glasses yeah those sold for twelve dollars and 74 cents we've had those a long time too um and then next up in the box hh which would be oh it's way on top over there why don't i grab that hh and then it's 101 which will be right here we can get those out too and here we have this little couple on benches. They're tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. And they sold for $16.99 plus shipping. All right, Donna, box 54. Let's do that one. Oh my goodness, this isn't what it is. But you guys, look at the tiny little shoes. <laughs> Somebody needs some little shoes. All right, this is looking for co four coffee cups. Got these um, garage sale, I believe. Is that what it says? Uh, yes, garage sale, four dollars. Maybe so you paid a dollar a cup. A dollar a piece. These Can are. You just show one of them here. The German brand of mugs, and usually you find these as Christmas mugs. That one you can't really see. The bottom. Oh, there you go. I'm not sure how to say it. I don't either. Walker's Bach. There you go. In Spain. Spain. So there's a set of four of those clover mugs, and those sold for $43 plus shipping. You got them for $4 total. Yeah. Four and a 43. Yay, Thomas. Okay. This pair of Levi's men's 5'11 jeans, 29 by 30, $12.74. 1274. All right. Vanna Steve. Vanna Steve. Box LL. I'll go grab that. All right. We have this set of three items here. I'm just going to rip this open. Let's get them all out and we'll set them up and then we can explain what happened here. There's a sugar shaker and two salt and pepper shakers. And those were listed for, I think, $12.99. Well, somebody messaged and said, hey, I just want the sugar shaker. Would you take eight fifty for just the sugar shaker? And Donna Here's said, the brand. "Absolutely, we can do that." So we're just going to ship out this for eight fifty, and then these can just get relisted on their own. So, so that's going out. There's one more down here before we go back upstairs to the bookshelves, book room, whatever, to my office, and it's in box eighty. Let's find, this is a Nebraska State Fair right there. Donna, you can tell them about that. It's a cookbook. Best <laughs> of, it's the best of 2008 Nebraska State Fair cookbook in really good condition. And uh, we started picking them up after we saw Shed Flips was picking them up in their area. So a lot of the ones we get up here are Nebraska, small towns, uh, Nebraska events. And it sold for $13.79 and it's going to 
Postville, Iowa. So it's just going across the little river. All right, back to sell-through rates. Um, it's really easy. Everything is really super easy when you have barcodes because you just scan it and whatever. But there's a lot of things you can tell by a lot of these things that we sell. They don't have barcodes. So like these mugs, you would just look up. You just type it in. Type in the name Spain Clover Mug and look at it that way. And you do the same thing. You see how many are listed. See what you can find. See how you can find the item. And then uh, just see how many are listed and then see how many sold. And they'll tell you what kind of sell-through rate you have. If you can't find an item, how do you find it? Google Lens. Google Lens. I'll show you that really here, really quick here. All right, here's my, this is just my normal Google, uh, my on my screen, there's my Google search bar. And on the side, there's a camera. And I hit the camera. And then there's a search. You hit the camera. I'm going to pull this up, take a picture of it. And Google is going to tell me right there, there's um, shamrock mugs. So it's just pulling up all these shamrock mugs. It doesn't know exactly what shamrock mugs we're looking for. So what you can do then is at the top here, it says add to your search. So now if I add this word that I can't pronounce. <laughs> the brand. W-A-E. Yeah, add anything, the brand or whatever else you know about it. C H T E R s b a c h i'm going to add that and then it's going to come up with these mugs you'll be able to find these mugs and there's the ebay search right there that's actually i think our listing for vintage rare and you'll be able to see and you visit and you can see 5624 that's what it was listed for and they send an offer but then you can get the name you can find the items that way and then the last thing I wanted to like talk about with it. So that's just how to find something and a, a way to find something that you don't know what it is. If it's super rare, um, if you have eBay, you can use Terapeak, but I don't use Terapeak, so I'm not real familiar with it. So I can't really talk on that, but we do pay for worth point. We pay like 26 or $27 a month for worth point. Worth point will show you old auction listings that sold. On WorthPoint, you can search by name or you can search by image, like take a picture like Google Lens and it'll pull up like old listings, old sold items. So that's how we find prices on some things. Now, what do we do if we find something super rare, very low limited quantities, very low uh, anything? That's when we may run an auction. We do, generally don't run auctions. If it's really rare, we might run an auction to see how much we get for something. But also we still just look at like what it's sold for. For example, so I found this book this morning when I was listing. It's called Amazing Homes, and it's from Norman Davis. There are none listed. I can't find them anywhere. Donna's telling me a smile. <laughs> uh, she's grinning at me. Uh, there's none listed. So I looked on WorthPoint, and I found like three that sold. Uh, two, that, two that sold for $20. I believe they were signed, and one that sold for $15. Now, there are none listed. I can't find any more anywhere. So I listed it for $20 this morning. I already have gotten an offer like a half an hour after I listed it for $15. I'm going to hold out on that because since there are no others like this, somebody else might come in and want to buy it for $20. Otherwise, I'm fine taking the $15, but I want to leave it up for a little while to see if somebody else sees it and says, oh, I wanted that book, you know, and just buys it. So that's just super rare things. You just kind of go with what you can find. And if it's super rare, like a lot of these comic books we're going to go get, there may these big bigger books that I look up. There may be a lot of these. I'm not going to show you more examples. It just takes too long. But like a Spider-Man Essentials book, there may be six of them listed and only two sold. But I look at the listed ones, and most of them are listed for like seventy-five to one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Most of the solds, the few that sold, the two that sold, are selling for like. 30 to $50. So I'm just going to list it and I'm going to put my price like just at the bottom of everybody else. So they still get a good deal, but I'm still making good money on it just to get rid of it. Cause there's not very many selling, but there's not hardly any out there. And the ones that are out there overpriced majorly. So I think that's all we're going to do for that because this video is going to be super long. Um, but we have a lot more things to pull, but they're all upstairs on the bookshelf. So I'm going to go show you the bookshelf, show you how many things are on it now, because I've been very productive. I'm down to two boxes left out of that lot. One box of books, one box of DVDs, and then I'll be done with all that 
and be able to move on to other stuff. So let's go upstairs and take a look at the bookshelf. All right, here's our bookshelf area. All of the books and DVDs on here are listed. Some things are not listed, like this stuff up here. They're gonna get listed sometime, but they're not listed right now. This beautiful hobnail, is that what you call that? I think so. Beautiful hobnail dish. These dogs, they're not, they're gonna get listed at some point. Now the dogs are Luke's. Oh, the dogs, they're Luke's, but they're in our house. Weird. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. So all these books, everything you see, that's books and DVDs. They're all listed. And down here, I know that the lighting's kind of crappy, but all of these are listed. I'm almost to the end. This we won in uh, live at Alicia's live. We won that. And there's some more books. And then all these DVDs back here. We're going to grab a bunch of these today. First up, we have Spider-Man, The Death of Gwen Stacy for $21 plus shipping. All right, there's that one for $21 plus shipping. Up next, we got the Bob Newhart Show box DVD set. There's Bob Newhart. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next, we got uh, Marvel Amazing Spider-Girl. Lots of two, three, four, and five uh, issues. All right, these four books are going international shipping, and they sold for $54.99. So $55 bucks for those four books. Up next, we got Showcase Presents The Haunted Tank for $36.79. Right there, The Haunted Tank and $36.79. Next up, we got Essential Werewolf by Night, Volumes 1 and 2. These are $54.99. There's those. So $55 for those two. And then we have Marvel Essential Amazing Spider Man number 11. Right there. Essential, $38 right there. Next up, while I'm down here, we got a really good buy for $85. Right here, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There's seven editions of this Omnibus, and that is $85 right there going out. All right, while I'm still down here, we have the complete office box sets all these box sets of the dvds this is all of them seasons nine through one and that sold for 25 dollars plus shipping this is an exact example of what i was talking about with that las vegas dv one of these by itself wouldn't be worth it for me to, sh to sell but as the entire lot 25 bucks that's not hard to ship there plus shipping plus shipping up next marvel essential peter parker the spectacular spider-man volume three all right that one sold for 12 dollars that one sold for $12.50. Then we have this TV show, The Avengers. I'm not familiar with it, but it's The Avengers Complete Seasons, Complete Series, and it's $15.99. And then we have just two more to do here. One is four books of The Tomb of Dracula. So these four books, Tomb of Dracula, sold those this morning for $104 for all four of them. Nice. So that's going out. All right, then we have one more thing to show you and as of right now and it is it's over here this is one of those folio society books is george orwell's animal farm and this book right there sold for 49.99 plus shipping so 50 dollars for this book wow that's it i think so that's it that's everything we're just going to wrap it up right here um a lot of sales a lot of good money. It's been a lot of fun to do this. The book lot has been very good to yeah, us. Yeah, it's been awesome. No yeah. complaining here. This week is pretty quiet. We don't really have much list, scheduled. List, list, list. List, list, list. That's what we want to do is list, We're list, gonna list. We're going to consolidate our two storage units, so we'll be down to one storage unit. Yep, and that's this week. Yeah, we've got a couple projects to finish up, and so let's a lot get of listing. busy. I've been doing a really good job of listing, just jumping in the off uh, the dining room to list those books instead of waiting till I have like two or three few free hours. Yes. I've been just jumping in there and doing like four or five listings just to try to get through this stuff instead of waiting for an opportune time where I can do a lot, just trying to knock it out a little bit at a time. Good so. job. Uh, other than that, thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Share, share with, with your, your friends. friends. <laughs> do all those things. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, I think that's it. For Happy Heart Treasures, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. I'll see you next time. Bye.